Hi there, I'm Tom Thick of Tom Thick Baits, and today we're at the Viaduct Fisheries on Carey Lake to try and catch a few skimmers on which is my favourite bait, the Intelligent Dark. Now, it's so easy to mix, and I will show you now exactly what to do. Now, this comes in three colours. You've got the Dark Natural, the Intelligent Natural, and the Intelligent Green. It also comes in a sweet version. So you've got sweet natural and sweet dark. I find that the, the dark is good for your bigger fish, which we're targeting today, anything from sort of a pound to three pound. And the sweet one's good if you're catching lots of hand size skimmers and odd roach. So we'll mix it away. So all it is, one bag, 900 grams. Open it up, pull the seal back, straight in the bucket. Put that down there. And then all it is, is literally, as easy as you like, one pint of water. That's all it takes. One pint of water, straight in, give it a mix. See, so we're just mixing it all the way through. So there's no dry bits, no need for a whisk, it's only 900 grams. And what we'll do, we'll get it all so it's nice and mixed. And what we'll do, is we'll come back in 20 minutes when it's taken all the water on. We'll put it for a riddle and we're ready to go. Right, we've come back to the ground bait now. We've left it 25 minutes. And as you can see, you can squeeze it. I like it on the drier side. If you want to add a bit more water, there's no right or wrong reason, it comes back. So what we do now, we'll riddle it. So straight on a riddle. On we go. Pop it on through. Nice and easy, you don't get many lumps, there's a bit that's took a bit more water. But, you just go on through, as easy as that. All riddled, now you've got this nice fluffy mix that you can ball up, and it breaks back down, perfect every time. So, today we've set up a 13 metre line, which we're going to put four balls of ground bit in. With the trip not being too bad, I'll put three loose cups in, and a ball. And in that, I put a, like a 250 mil pot of casters, just because casters are so important at this fishery. And then I've done another line at five meters where we hope to catch some roach, perch, and maybe an odd skimmer. Right then, start the session. I'm gonna put 20 casters and a few maggots just on my short line, just for those perch and hopefully the roach. We'll be hand feeding that from now on, but it's just to get a bit of bait in the area. And then we'll get ready to Put the ground bait in. Right. So, all we're going to do, three lightly squeezed balls. So near enough loose, when I pushed it down, it's sort of loose. I'm going to go out there with that. feeding on that 30 metre, got my marker on the fire bank. So there's one, give it a little. Another pot of loose. That's the second. And then we're going to go for the third one. Loose again, just bung it in there. Just ground it at the moment. Sorry. Now I'm going to put the, the fourth one in. There's a bit of a hard ball just so I've got something right down where I'm going to be fishing. Because I want it to sort of spread out so I've not got problem with these skimmers in here, you get so many in your peg and you're just foul work fish and it becomes a bit of a nightmare. But what we will do, we will loose feed a few casters over the top. So the fourth one, we're going to go and put a nice hard ball in. So 
there's the hard ball going in now. There he goes. And then the fifth cup full will just be casters. Loads of casters. So a nice big handful of casters. And what I do to stop him shaking out is I'll just top it off the ground bait. Just so they don't fall out. And then I'll swish those around so there's a bit of bait there. I won't loose feed straight away just to see whether we can, sometimes it can be quite hard and wind's getting naughty. There we go. Swish them around. There we are. So, that's the feed done for there. We'll leave that sort of half an hour, 40 minutes before we have a look just to let some fish settle. And in the meantime, we'll go on that short line and see if we can get some bonus fish. This lake's full of big perch, so hopefully we can sort of now some of them in some roach. And all we're going to do, just a few casters, make a bit of noise. There's a bite straight away. Just a small fish, but a little hybrid. Saves a blank. <laughs> Back in again. Strung out rig more casters there's obviously some fish having a go that one's pulled the elastic out nice roach we might have to switch to sort of single and double caster if there is any better fish there Nice hybrid. I'm going to put a caster on already. That's a little bit too good already. So single caster. Swing it out. A few more casters. Absolutely solid. Never hybrid. Six ounce. So, we're about 40 minutes into the session now, and we probably had 30 or 40 roach, up to sort of six ounces. And I've noticed a couple of skimmers rolling on my 13 meter line. So I'm gonna catch a couple more in here, and then we're gonna See if we can catch some skimmers. Thought that was a bigger fish then. Did you see it? The elastic come out about two foot and then. <laughs> Yeah, they're just all, they're all over the place. Lovely fish though, aren't they? Because they're not, they're not like, um, they're uh, all like an ounce to four ounce. They're not them small ones. Nice catching down through the water. There you go, look, that's what you get if you go shallow. Up myself. No, I'm going to go out there. I'm itching. I'm going to grab my top kit. Right then, we're going to go out on the skimmer rig. I'm going to start on sort of single maggot. See what's there. And if we get bitted out, we'll try caster and double caster. See how it goes. Oh. 
Only problem with all this mud, isn't it? Horrible. Right then. Lay the rig in. Just to see what we can catch. Going straight over the feed to start with. And I expect to get a quick bite if they're there. There we go. First skimmer. Only a four to six ounce fish, but they're weight builders. There we are. Little indications on the float all the time. There's another one. Ah, we're in. Nice slow bite, yeah. This fish feels a bit bigger. I guess 12 ounces to a pound. Lovely fish. It's lovely skimmer fishing though, isn't it? I bet you get envious when you see me going out there catching those great big ones. You wait till them big ones show. They're proper. Some of them are like five pound in here now. To be honest, I think it's too good today because, you know, when you go out there and you've got like the small, you, you want the small fish to be knocked on their head. So when you get a bite, you know that it's, yeah, yeah, it's just really mild at the moment. Yeah, very mild. There we go. Ooh. Good sized fish as well. We've got a two to four Carbolino fighter, which is lovely really. And on the short line, we've got a four to six, which is the yellow. I think we might have fouled up this one. <laughs> foul up the, the dorsal fin. Everybody loves to foul up one now and again. There we are, another nice fish. Seagull finds it hilarious. Short line fed, so important because you're not going to catch on this for the full five, six hours of your match. Might have to have another look on it. Roach. Hey. Loads of them. They're not bad. You don't mind coming back with one of them. So that's two fowl workers in a row. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fish past the feed just to try and stop that because there's a lot of fish on my feed at the moment. 
I don't want to upset them too much. So I'll start fishing half a section past and then I'll move the full section if that's not going to work. Have you, Steve? They're having a bit of a nightmare here with these, there's so many fish in the peg. Hopefully we found one in the mouth, John. There we go. Nice hybrid. Scorcher. Done with that. Right then, so we've had probably 10 skimmers now, biggest one a pound but they started to tail off a little bit and I'm getting really funny bites. So I'm gonna to top up and all I'm gonna do is put in like 30 casters and another loose, another loose cup of ground bait. And I leave it five, 10 minutes, have a look on the other lines. Yeah, and then we're going, see if we can catch some of those big brown ones. and then John and Nick me kit. <laughs> So then, it was getting a bit tricky and we've just started loose feeding and now we're catching some bigger fish. Still topping up with little bait when it goes quiet, but definitely bringing some bigger fish into the peg now, the loose feed. And hopefully the fish will just keep getting bigger because there's a lot of three pound sort of bream skimmers in here. It's just been very tricky to nail those fish to the bottom today. But I think we're getting somewhere now. Hopefully we'll switch to two casters on the up later and it'll be one a chuck. But you can't always switch to it too early. Yeah, been putting in, just topping up all the time. So every sort of four or five fish we've had to top up with with a sort of a golf ball size nugget just to keep the fish coming back. Yeah, just doing it through the big pot. But we're 
getting some lovely skimmers now, anything from six ounces to sort of two pounds. There we are, nice one, 12, 12 ounces to a pound. Still on the maggot or in the caster now? All right, okay. So I've kicked Tom off the box for a bit because he's catching well. We had, a, we had a spell of bad weather where we couldn't film. It was really, really heavy rain, so I've put the camera out into, safe, into a, a safe area. But um, now that the weather's broke, we've been, we carried on. Tom carried on loose feeding with the casters, but it just went a bit funny. Uh, it seemed like lots of fish were coming up off the bottom, so he started putting some ground bait in. He started putting some ground bait in. And it seems to have settled some skimmers down over the over the area. So he's just put a little bit more in for me, save me doing it. So there's a load of ground bait and casters just going in a full pot of loose ground bait with a, a nice big handful of casters on the top. I can't I can't uh, resist the temptation to nick a few skimmers whilst the opportunity has arisen. Hopefully that aircraft isn't annoying you too much. I think we've had a few uh, aircraft in the area today. Helicopters, that was a, a plane, it's on description. Duck's trying to eat me float. No, I've stopped that, mate. Right, well, finally got the maggot to the bottom. It took me three goes, but he's got to the bottom this time. Uh, I'm fishing the maggot because Tom said it's been it's been much better than the caster. The caster's been a lot slower today. The float's moving around all the time. You just got to wait for some sort of positive indication before you uh, strike. So many fish there. waiting for that positive indication. I probably could have struck a little bit earlier on that, but I'm just worried about foul looking and there's so many there. And he wrapped up his foul up this one. Tom lost the ground, his landing net around funny angle, although he's there, he's properly up look. He was just wrapped it wrapped over. I've not got me proper fishing gear, so I don't want to get slime all over me nice, me nice coat. Okay, but there we are. Hopefully, you're picking that up on the camera, guys. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah, he's on. That's a proper one. Yeah, a nice skimmer that is. I thought it was foul up. <laughs> I only catch proper ones, Tom. I don't know what's going on. Every time I get on the box, it's when the best, better fish. Uh, it's not big, no, it's not that big. Tell you what, it's better around 20 odd pound now. I bet we've more than that. Yeah, because yeah, they're a good stamp, aren't they? They're, that's a pound, isn't it, all day long? And a bit, that is a pound and a bit, that is. Right then, coming to the end of the session. Probably got 10 minutes. And it's been pretty good, really. We've, we've started off, obviously, with that four, four initial feeds with some casters. And to be fair, it's been better than I expected. It's been a nightmare at times with too many fish in the peg. And everything's been over the ground bait today. You go past, it hasn't really worked, worked that well. But, yeah, we've caught an absolute boatload of fish. We've lost a few as well, but that's just part of the game. And uh, the next clip, the next clip you'll see is uh, me pulling me net out with and showing you what we've caught. Have a lovely day here at Viaduct with over 50 pound of skimmers caught on the Intelligent Dark. Now I'm going to run a competition. All you've got to do is like and share and subscribe 
to the Average Angler channel to be in with a chance to win 10 bags of the Intelligent Dark Round Bait. Uh, a lovely day again, as Tom's already said. Not quite as many as Tom. Uh, I fish slightly different. I used Intelligent Black with some exp uh, of Tom's expander. But a good day all. Just uh, took a little longer to find them. Thank you very much.